Who are you? Are we having fun yet? Okay, so this is a very special episode. My boy, Swish Hill is here, and he's going to tell me a little bit about Denzel Mahoney. Mahoney? Is that his name? Yeah. All I can think about was, wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> 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 no, I, I legit have no idea who he is but after watching this past game i was like yo who what what's going on here he had the most steals with four steals um he played with a lot of tenacity out there he went three for five from three and even watching the game just the eye test told me i'm like this dude is pretty doggone good so um but yeah man what do you know about him uh swish hill because i know that you're you're kind of a uh kind of a genius when it comes to basketball so I'm not a genius. Let's. I'm just a nerd. Genius. Um, genius. But uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, okay. So Denzel Mahoney. So basically, um, I knew he played at Creighton. Uh, I wasn't aware that he'd actually transferred to Creighton from Southeast Missouri State. So apparently, he played there for two years. Um, what I remember most about him is in his first year, he actually played for Creighton. Uh, he led all scorers in the Big East. Uh, that came off the bench and he was actually big east six man of the year wow um, it's uh it's funny because we we were talking a little bit before we started this video about how you know he plays for creighton and that's where doug mcdermott played obviously so both of them played for doug's dad it's like they got on a little creighton kick here but uh i mean he's one of those six five combo guys it's like 215 pounds 220 pounds mm -hmm. you know not not like the best guy in the world i think he averaged like 12 points four rebounds and maybe 1.5 assists mm -hmm. something like that just some solid d he's got some decent dribble moves nothing crazy he's a pretty good three-point shooter you know he can take you to the basket um it's funny because his game in college if i were to pick a player that it most resembled it would probably be Lonnie Walker in college. Really? Um, granted, Lonnie was light years ahead of him because, uh, you know, Lonnie was only in college for a year. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, if you compare their styles of play, even their size, Lonnie in college was like 6'4", 6'5", maybe 198, 200 pounds. Yeah. Denzel Mahoney's like 6'5", 215. He's a little heavier, a little stockier. But Lonnie... Um, you know, first started coming off the bench, didn't start every game in college. He only started about half of them. But at Miami, he averaged like 12 points, three rebounds, two assists, a steal, and half a block. Mm -hmm. um, doing the, you know, a little bit minimal ball handling, some driving to the basket, some dunks, some three-pointers. And that's exactly what Mahoney did. You know, 12.5 points, three rebounds, an assist, a steal. It's very similar. Um... Granted, I think, you know, obviously Lonnie's the better player, but that would probably be in terms of, you know, the kind of skill set he had in college you can look at and say, I think that's comparable there. Yeah, yeah, and I see this, the six man of the East uh, in steals per game. That's re that's ridiculous. My thing when, when I was watching him was I was just kind of, and I know it's the G League, so it's the, the competition is going to be a little different. But honestly, when I was watching him, when it was all said and done, I was like, he had 13 points like it was so kind of low-key but all of those steals they were in your face man i was like this dude can play some defense and i'm kind of shocked uh with the comparison to lonnie like i said i don't know anything about him but i'm compared i'm, I'm kind of you know baffled by that because yeah he just he does look way bigger than lonnie um but when you're saying that they have similar playing styles are you kind of saying like uh passing wise like facilitation wise or yeah, I mean, it, and it's not meant to say that like, oh, he's going to have the same career as Lonnie. Yeah. But if you go back and watch some of his Creighton highlights, it's a lot of like catch the ball, jab step, then drive into the paint, maybe mm. pull up for a mid range, you know, occasionally hit a three here, some pretty athletic drives. It's it's very similar to what we had Lonnie doing when he first came into the league. Lonnie's a lot better at it, but um, that's kind of kind of the type of player he is and he is a lot bigger i mean he's a little stockier and that's something p 
people said Lonnie needed to work on when he came in because he'd get beat up driving to the rim. And, uh, you know, inherently Mahoney is an older guy in college. He, he doesn't have that problem as much. Now he's obviously going to have that problem a little bit with higher level players. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, the G League's, I mean, the G League's a very highlight driven league. It's a lot of three pointers, dunks, steals. Um, to be honest, not a whole lot of team play because it's all these guys out there trying to prove themselves. So yeah, it's true. it's like tailor made for people like this where he can get his hands in there, get some steals, find his own shot when he's not getting past the ball. And that's what he did tonight. OK, so you think do you think that I'm getting a little too excited about it? Because I saw him and I said, yo, is this guy going to get his shot? Like, is he going to get his chance? Um, but like you said, I mean, it is a lot of highlights. It is a lot of, you know, let me just show what I can do. I mean, what do you think? You think he'll be in the league or probably not? The thing about the G League, you got to remember, is every single one of these guys was one of the top players in college or overseas. Yeah. I mean, last year, Mahoney was the second leading scorer on Creighton, and Creighton finished number 19 in the country at the end of the year i mean they were a good team and he was a good player for them i don't think he's gonna get a shot in the league he's very talented i like watching him play he's just you know at, at this stage in his game I, i'm trying to think how old he is here uh, 1998 um, so yeah i mean he's he's got to be at least uh 24, 24 25 yeah so i mean pic picture this uh do you remember we took Derek when he was 23 and he came in at 24 and helped lead us to the playoffs. Uh, if that puts that in perspective. So that's like right where he's at in terms of his timeline. So uh, okay. like, I, I like these kind of stories cause they're guys that kind of get forgotten. And there's a lot of really good players out there in college ball and in the G league, but mm -hmm. it's a whole different level once you get to the NBA. Yeah, and then the whole thing, like you said, with Derek White, like if he's gonna have his shot, it it's probably especially with this team and how it's set up, it probably needs to be soon, um, because too many years down the line, ah, he's not gonna fit that timeline. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know, man. I I'm here. I hear exactly what you're saying. You make a lot of sense. Um, I guess it was just me. This is the first time I've ever seen him, so you know more of him than I do. That's why I wanted to get you on because. I was like, yo, this dude looks legit. But talking to you is like, okay, all right, okay. I get it a little bit more. I understand. Um, but man, I would I would love to see him get some type of, you know, opportunity. But I don't know. Like with our team right now, you just say hypothetically they do play. You say he he takes one tier higher than where where he is right now. Like he just improves like crazy in the next few games and he does he is NBA ready, right? Do you think that his playing style fits with what we do? Oh, that's a tough question because it does fit with what we do right now, but then you're adding just one more guy that does all the same things. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things that even if he does somehow take that leap and gets on that level, that's going to be hard splitting all that time with the people. We're, we're already talking about, you know, do we have too many guards as it is? And then if you throw one more in the mix, that's going to be tough. Yeah, yeah. Well now i'm sad but i do hope that he gets his opportunity nonetheless because i don't know man I, I have to see more of him it's just one game but just what i saw i was like you know what he's uh he's uh pretty pretty good all right well thank you swish hill for coming through dog i really appreciate it you are so informative and i got your youtube uh channel on the screen you want to go ahead and uh plug your stuff yeah sure um I didn't get a video out this week. It was real hectic at work, but I'm currently working on a series about the 2011, 2012 NBA season. Uh, I've got a video all written and recorded. Just need to finish editing it, uh, going over some of the effects of the lockout trades, you know, championship winners, all that stuff and how it kind of changed the landscape of the NBA forever. And normally I do stuff like this where I just go over kind of underrated prospects in college ball it's been a little slow lately since college ball doesn't start till Tuesday. So uh, oh, yeah. I'll finally have some footage to work with there. But yeah, if uh, if you get sick of hearing about the same names in the draft over and over again, come look at some of like the second round tier guys that I, I take a look at on my channel. 
Yeah, man. And I, I really do love your content. Like, it's really, really good. Especially the uh, draft grades. I really like that one. Um, but yeah, all your stuff is really good. It's nicely edited. It's perfectly spoken. Go go follow go follow my boy. Uh, his oh, link you got me in, blushing in over here. Oh, what's up? You got me blushing over oh, here. Oh, yeah, man. You know I got you. <laughs> but yeah, so guys, go follow him. Uh, link in the description for that. Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, you know all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube, yeah, Patreon, yeah. All right, all right, uh, deuces. <laughs>